All right, first up, we're going to start off with bacon. Because anytime you start off with bacon, you're doing it right. All right, go ahead and chop it up into small pieces like so. And once we do that, we're going to go ahead and put it off to the side. All right, we're going with two jalapeno peppers. Get them de-seeded. And we're going to get them diced up really fine. And then once we dice them, we're going to put them off to the side for now. All right, got two pounds of deer and pork mixed together. So if you got beef, do that. If you want to use straight pork, you can do that too. But I think uh, beef will hold up a little bit better. All right, we're going to hit it with that SPG from Suckle Busters and that hog walla from Suckle Busters. You can use Cajun seasoning, whatever seasoning you want to go with. But we're going to stick with the Suckle Busters today. Put your jalapenos in. Got some of that Gidry's Trinity, about half a quart. Got some of that Allegro brisket and fajita sauce. Boy, that's some good stuff, partner. And we got some of that Sweet Baby Ray's spicy and sweet. A sweet and spicy, whatever. Go ahead and mix that up really, really good. And get it all incorporated. All right, we're going to hit up some chicharrones, boy. So you can use whatever chicharrones you want. This is going to be our binder instead of breadcrumbs. Hit it up with that suckle busters and that SPG again. And then put in your chicharrones. Get that all mixed up in good. So this is a little trick I learned from Matt with Meat Church. If y'all ain't never followed him, go give him a follow. So put some cellophane wrap down. Go ahead and pack all your meat into that. And you're going to put it in the freezer for about three hours, four hours. All right, flip it over, and it comes right out. So I went to smoke this at 300 degrees. My smoker went for like an hour and quit. <laughs> so I had to finish it off in the oven at 350. We're looking for an internal of three, I mean 160 on the internal. Once you get that, sauce it, put it back in for 15 minutes. All right, guys, so got the smoked meatloaf done or deer loaf whatever you want to call it but look at all that goodness in there so i don't know if y'all can see my shirt but uh body by bacon so if you want a beautiful physique like this and you got to eat all kind of bacon that's what we do so look let's give it a bite i'm excited give it a little bit of everything we got that barbecue sauce which is that sweet and spicy it's one of my favorites mm. For that good y'all. So, always making a mess. Hope y'all like this recipe. Give it a try. Hopefully your smoker doesn't go out in an hour like mine did, but it has a delicious smoke flavor still in it. Probably gonna take you a couple hours to get the 160 on that internal is what you need before you sauce it. And you're probably looking at about 165 once you're done. So, God bless y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. See you on the next one.